guys welcome to new tutorial videos here i will show you inlet outlet exhaust valve of ic engine analysis in uh, ansys workbench so let's start the video first we'll do a static structural analysis then we'll do thermal analysis so first of all open a static structural now first we have to select engineering data means whatever the material we have to use so that one we have to select in engineering data so just click double click here you can see here all the engineering resources data so click on general material and here you can select the material so i'm selecting aluminium alloy structural steel different material three different materials i'm using and uh, i will show you how to switch the material uh, during analysis okay so now when you will select after selecting you have to click on project and here you can see the engineering data is already updated here now import your geometry just uh, here uh, two thing is there first of all you can create your geometry and you can import now you can see the geometry here inlet outlet exhaust valve of ic engine okay so now uh, fit view hmm. so here first of all structural analysis means so first of all we need to select here geometry go to click on part and here you can select your geometry whatever material is required on what which material you want to do the analysis you have to select from here so previously i was selected aluminium structural steel and gray cast iron okay so that's why it's showing here three materials okay so i am doing this analysis on aluminium alloy only so whenever you have done after that again you you can come here and you can switch your material from here only okay so now it is okay then go to mesh go to sizing i'm changing this one to fine mesh and again this course should be fine mesh element size you can also give or default element size also you can take so here i'm giving 0.25 the size is okay sorry this is uh, showing meter so i'm changing the unit so it should be mm so now i'm giving 0.25 mm size now click on mesh and generate generate mesh so you can see here i have given 0.25 mm element size means here you can see it is a very fine mesh means each element size here whatever the element and nodes I have generated so the all uh, each element have uh, having the size of 0.2 mm then we have to apply the boundary condition so now here go to loads uh, sorry first go to support then fix support and this is the fixed support okay so now we have to select this one this is the fixed one so I'm giving displacement 0 then on bottom part we have to apply loads so again click on loads and pressure okay so select this bottom surface or bottom area and now whatever the calculated uh, value of pressure or forces you have you have to apply that value here so i'm applying 15 15 megapascal okay now click ok You can see here pressure value 
so now whenever you will click here so it will show which part is fixed and which part is pressure so now you can see here after that the next step is solution so now just uh, add uh, which uh, uh, value you want so total deformation first thing is we need and the stresses value and the strain value three values is generally we have to calculate uh, uh, apart from that whatever according to your requirement you can add more values whatever the values you need so that one you should select from here so now on solution and click on solve so now you can see here that the solution has been done so you can check total deformation equivalent stresses and equivalent strain so you can see clearly you can see the maximum deformation is at bottom part where we are applying the forces and minimum is where the field support is there and the stress you can see maximum stress somewhere you can get here this is the maximum part Good. so this is the structural analysis of uh, inlet valve so now the next step is thermal analysis we have to do in continuous of a structural analysis only so again we need to go at the main page and here we have to select thermal analysis so I'm doing a steady state thermal analysis just uh, click and hold and drag it here you can see here the old engine data geometry and model setup everything is carry forwarded for the steady state thermal analysis and again we need to go at the main work uh, interface so here you can see Studio state thermal analysis. Studio state thermal analysis. So here initial temperatures. You can check initial temperatures also. And analysis setting also. Whatever. Okay. So here we need to go. Uh, we need to give first uh, uh, boundary conditions for uh, thermal analysis. So first uh, uh, give temperature and temperature value select uh, bottom part so oh, sorry <laughs> first we need to give here uh, steady state thermal so first here we give to we have to give thermal um, boundary condition temperature so temperature value i'm giving here 700 degrees c right on this face and remaining one is all convection values we should check here so convection values i'm giving so first we need to click all the parts here uh, with the help of Just click and drag your mouse. One part is remaining. So here you can see all the part has been selected. So now give here the convection film coffee set. So I think I'm giving here. <coughs> ok 
okay this is the convection value after that we need to solve it now click on solve so now here you can see that our solution has been done so now you can add whatever the values is required so select temperature thermal heat flux directional also if you want then you can select evaluate the result you can see your temperature value so this is the temperature value maximum temperature is 700 lower temperature 538 minimum okay so here uh, total heat flux you can see here and directional heat flux also you can see here so total heat flux also you can animate it also graph also you can see okay so this is the complete analysis of uh, valve okay structural analysis and thermal analysis you can complete so hope uh, you will hope you understood this video thank you for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends